Gentlemen, welcome back to the room formerly known as the Wife Sewing. Behold, the lowly, craptacular Chineseium relay. We are going to find out. Oh, too far. Too far. We're going to find out how many cycles this thing will chew chat until she lets the smoke out. And also, just for the young gamers in the crowd, we'll show them how a relay, electromechanical relay, works. Or in this case, does not work. Although we have randomly plucked this relay from the bowels of the Empire of Dirt, our sample size of Unity puts this experiment right in the realm of anecdotal. However, before she started glitching right the fuck out, ran 22.5 million clickety clacks. So we got a baseline. What even is a relay? It's a switch. It's a light switch. Only instead of your finger flicking it, you use a, an electromagnet, which is, you know, you take a nail, that old experiment, you take a nail and you wrap copper wire around it, you hook it up to a battery, makes a magnet. That's the same thing we're doing here. We got a, we got a little tiny nail with a whole bunch of copper wire around it, and we put electricity through that, creates a magnet, an electromagnet, and it pulls the contacts of the switch over. That's, that's all it's doing. So each relay will have five leads. So it will have two leads that are for the electromagnet. You power that, it, it flips it over. And then it'll have a common in the middle. That's where your power comes in. It'll have a normally closed contact and a normally open. And when you actuate, when you give that little nail power, that electromagnet power, it just flips the switch. That's all it's doing. That's what a relay does. Why would you want that? Well, because now you can take a tiny bit of electricity and use it to control a shit ton of electricity because we don't need to touch the, the contacts that are moving. They can be thousands of volts, thousands of amps, and we can control that with five volts and one amp. That's, that's essentially what it is. It's a, we use a, a relay as a big lever to keep us safe and the equipment that we're using to control it safe. I got the most dangerous tool in the shop here, cutting towards my thumb, not my chum. I know you're watching just for the NASCAR effect. <laughs> Can't wait to see that big pile up. Well, sorry to disappoint you. Ferks, it's working. Well, that's a fair size coil, big coil in there. And what that's doing is that's the comm, the middle terminal, the middle post. And then the top over here is the normally closed. So the comm is touching, is in contact with the normally closed. And then when we energize the coil, it pulls everything down and changes to the normally open contact, which is now closed. Huh? Bed goes up, bed goes down. 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 I'm going to pull out my high-speed potato vision. This shop superpower, as is my want. We can see things in high speed, and something very, very interesting here is it's glitching out. The, the, due to me rubbing it the, <laughs> the wrong way, it's dropping out the green light here. It's dropping out the power, and yet the contact doesn't change state because there is still some energy, some magnetic field energy left in that coil that is keeping the contacts pulled in. It needs some time for that for that magnetic field to, to drop, to collapse. And of course that creates a huge inductive voltage spike at the same time. So it actually needs to be off for quite a while or on for quite a while comparatively to a, a MOSFET, a solid state device, in order for it to actually switch contacts. After 2.5 million cycles, we see this thing is still chooching just fine. So what gives? How come it was glitching out? Well, the resistance of the contacts is quite high. You see, every time, I wonder if we'll be able to catch that on high-speed potato vision. I'm going to try and get a big spark through there. We'll see what happens. Here now in slow-mo is the relay under load. You can see the arcing and the sparking. I got it short-circuited on the normally closed 7 amps, 30 volts. 
And something interesting happened here is that the contacts welded together. It's not the coil that's failed. There hasn't been any water. There's no broken springs, nothing like that. The contacts themselves have gotten worn down to such a state that they weld themselves together. That seems to be the, the two and a half million cycles. That's a lot of cycles. Proof in the puddings and the eating of the currents. They're eroded right away to nothing. And even on the, the normally, that's the normally closed side and on the normally open side, eroded right down. There's a concavity there. Nasty looking. And that's why it failed. It just plumb wore out. While we're into the meat of her, we'll take another bite here. Just quickly, a, a chintzy automotive relay and a properly branded Omron name brand relay. We'll have these eight part and see what the difference is. Having a wee boo, the betwixt in between the Chow High and the Omron brand. What is the difference? Well, we see here all brass contact stuff here. The contacts themselves are bigger. These on the Chow High brand, the Chinese brand, what is it? Hyukki are uh, nickel and the contacts themselves are quite a bit smaller they're physically not as thick and they're not domed these guys bigger contacts more life out of them you would think however the coil itself is smaller the electromagnet is smaller a lot more winding on here so more copper this would probably be well they're copper i mean they're jelly bean parts for us in the shop here it doesn't make any fucking difference whether it's guaranteed for seven million cycles or not well according to <laughs> our tiny little sample size here very little difference but what's what's to say well who cares if this thing fails we put a new one in now you're designing something you want it to last a certain amount of cycles you need seven million cycles out of the thing obviously you have to go with the name brand and you have to go with the uh the one that comes from reputable sources so that you know it's the name brand and it's not a fakey and it's not just full of crap. However, if you run it and it's not an instant crib death, if you test it out, you get the cheapest one online and it's not an instant crib death, it's going to last you a long, long time. Million, two million, three million cycles at least. And that's just when it starts to glitch out. If you're not even worried about glitches, fuck, run it like you stole her. Let her buck, partner. Let's get the poor man's Dremel out here. What do you take me for, Big Clive? I ain't got money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we got the uh, Zong in your tongue. And we'll get right into her. Easy as that. Come on. Wow. <laughs> there is a lot of copper in there. I'm sorry to say, for a comparison, there's no abortion around. I, I went to the getting spot there. Unfortunately, <laughs> that, that's the thing about the getting spot. The inventory ain't great, but if they got it, the price is unbeatable. Didn't have any. But here we got the cheap knockoff or the, the Chinese knockoff. Uh, very clever. The 100 amp this thing will take. Look at all the copper in there. Wow. Braided line, 100 amps. Cute little trick here though. On the normally, because they know, they know. On the normally open, they got these big, huge, beefy contacts. On the normally closed, there's nothing there. Just a tiny little contact. So they know they've designed this to only work uh, normally open, essentially. This thing would be cooked in no time if you were running it on the normally closed contact here. You get the arcing and the sparking and so forth. So that is the big 100 amp style automotive relay. And we'll have to get, we'll have to get another well, we'll have to get a name brand in order to have them compete side by each, but yeah, that's just some nylon. So that's what you get. You put pixies in here, it pulls the contact closed. That's all it does, man. That's all a relay is. I'm getting a little smelly. It's <laughs> what happens when you over voltage. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh my God, <laughs> it's coming straight for us. We turn that off. We don't fry our power supplies. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is what happens when it gets too much voltage. It uh, draws too much current, gets hot, and burns out.
In conclusion, as anecdotal evidence suggests, Chinese yum relays plenty good enough for the girls we go out with. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in advice.